Bill Clinton in 1999 declared the month of June I don't call them gay, homosexual and lesbian pride month. That was in 1999 and 2000. Then from 2009 to 2016, each year he was in office, President Barack Obama declared June LGBT Pride Month. Just the other day, President Donald John Trump declared June to be LGBT Pride Month. Now, what I love about the gospel preacher. The gospel preacher has always said he stands with no president or no political party in his pocket. The gospel preacher doesn't back off of the gospel because the president is a Democrat or a Republican. The gospel preacher didn't back off the gospel when the president was of color. Now, a lot of preachers did. They're not gospel preachers. See, what separates us from them is that if we had the courage to call it and to declare that it was wrong when President Clinton did it and when President Obama did it, well, ain't no way in this world a gospel preacher, I said a gospel preacher, would all of a sudden not have anything to say now. If it was wrong then, it's wrong now. And I don't support anybody. You can't get, you can't get my vote, you can't get my support, you can't get my endorsement declaring uh, the month of June, Sodom and Gomorrah month. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. I can say it with authority because I said it when the other guy did it. Now, some of those who may say it now, turn them off because they were quiet, especially blacks. The black preacher was quiet because, well, we can't say anything because Obama's our first African-American. I don't care, if, I don't care what he is. If the, the issue has always been policy. And when Israel's king was right with God, the prophet praised him. When the king went wrong, the prophet called him on it. That's wrong. Amen. Amen. That's, it's wrong. And the thing that, that gets me, you know, everybody now is saying, you know, you, know, you don't want to be hard and you don't want to bash and all that. And I'm not bashing. I'm never bashed. Uh, homosexuals or anybody else. I've just said what God says. And if what God says is bashing, then so be it. But, uh, it, but, but uh, I'm going to stick with the Bible. But now, June is Homosexual Pride Month. Currently, LGBT History Month is a month-long celebration um, that is specific to the United States, the United Kingdom of Canada, in the U United States and Canada, it is celebrated in October to coincide with National Coming Out Day on October the 11th. Now, Jesus don't get but two months. December. We, he gets Christmas and Easter. And he's Jesus, the king of kings. The homosexual get just as many months as Jesus. Now, you know there's something wrong with that. Some of y'all are getting uncomfortable. I don't know why. 
I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why the sisters are not cheering me on because no lifestyle has promoted more AIDS and herpes to, to black women than men on the download slipping around with men and then getting with you. They are not your friend. They are not your friend. Now I can't hear because you go to the to the, uh, to the, they gonna call them beauty parlors, salon, and let them fix your hair. Or let them make you, uh, your hats or whatever. But this thing, let me tell you something. Judgment is taking place. And, uh, and, and, and this is why as saints, we, I like that song, I'm All In. That, that's powerful. That was right on time. That's why as saints, you got to stick with the Bible because our hero is the Lord. Our hero is the Lord. Amen. And what makes a politician either worth their salt or not worth their salt is what they promote. It's not the man's personality. It's not his color. not his origin. It's what? It's policies. It's policies. And as a Christian, you are concerned with how those policies line up with God. Because we need the Lord's favor. God can shut up heaven that there be no rain and there's nothing we can do about it. God can send pestilence to devour the land and there's nothing we can do about it. And the last few months have showed us that God can send rain and flood out cities dams break and the only thing people can do about it is get out of the way because we cannot stop God when a nation forgets God a nation acts for trouble and the Lord begins to speak he speaks all in the weather they call it global warming glo global cooling climate change I call it judgment judgment we're living in a fallen world and I'm telling you that the, the remedy is not to buy an electric car. I mean, you can get one if you want to. The remedy is not solar heat or putting up windmills. The remedy is if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then well, I hear from heaven, forgive their sin and heal their land. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, uh, it's, you know what? The Christian, I said years ago that the truly, the truly born again believer who follows the Bible oftentimes, more often than not, finds himself or herself without a party because you can't follow anybody. I've said this for years. You can't be a yellow dog anything. When you are a yellow dog Democrat or a yellow dog Republican, yellow dog means whatever they put on, you support it. No, you have to be a thinking person and a praying person. And you say, I, I'll go along with this if my God goes along with it. Amen. I'll go along with it if my conviction go along with it. But if it doesn't, I'm not going to affix my signature and give my endorsement to something that I don't believe in. And I'm not going to become indifferent. All of a sudden, all of a sudden you don't have anything to say. Well, I didn't know. You knew everything else. Now, how is it that we can get all the information on everything? And then when there's somebody that we don't want to talk about, then all of a sudden we, 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 we claim ignorance. You all, you're letting the devil mess you up. You sit there and watch Don Lemon, a homosexual. He's got the devil in him. And all that man is doing, as you more and more approve of him as your favorite news guy, all he's doing is he's breaking down 
your resistance against wickedness. Right. Amen. Because, right. well, he's one, but you know what? He sure know how to uh, report the news. If, if, if you're judging by standards, one of the worst ever, because we're not accustomed to a person going on and just saying anything. And what's that? Michelle, uh, uh, Rachel Maddox. You got a homosexual on one, Don and, and, and uh, uh, Anderson Cooper, and then uh, Rachel, and these people are breaking down, and then Shepard Smith right. Yeah. Right. on Fox. So you got them all. So all this stuff, all this stuff is trying to right. turn your mind right. from the scripture. But I know the Bible is right. Yeah. My God. Oh, y'all sound like a Presbyterian church. The Bible is right. And you got, to, you got to know what the game is. It's designed to break down your resistance as you enjoy their reporting, as you enjoy their wit, as you enjoy their style. You know what you begin to do? You begin to accept them also. And you know what you do? You watch them fussing with me. I don't care what pastor says. I don't care what bishop says. Well, don't. But I tell you what, you're going to care what God says. Amen. So I, I thought I would bring it up. Now, I'm declaring June as being the month. I'm, de I'm declaring June as being... J-E-S-U-S -S month. Just like all of the rest of them. Amen. All 12, they all belong to God. He makes every day. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's praise the Lord for Jesus month. This, this, is, this is Jesus month. All month long. Jesus. 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 Jesus month. Praise the Lord. We got, we got to come up. We got, we got the, the, Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost just gave me that on the spot. So I got to get a banner made. So I got to do something fast. Fast. This, this is Jesus month. This is Jesus month. Jesus pride. Yeah, I'm proud. I know Jesus. Do you know the homosexuals and lesbians are now? Now, do you know them? They're, they're more proud of their wicked lifestyle than we are. Uh, about Jesus. They don't mind for people to know what, what they are. What they do. All in the mall. Flaunt, flaunting it everywhere. All on the airplane. You can't, you can't fly everywhere you look. But the Christians. Well. I, I, don't, believe in just, I don't believe in just telling everybody. I, I let people figure it out for themselves. Well, apparently that's not working. Because they've been working with you for 20 years. And hadn't figured out that you're saved. No, you got to say something. Somebody said, well, 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 you know, we don't have to say anything. We can just live it. Suppose Jesus would have just lived it. Suppo all right. That means all of the teachings of Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, everything in the Bible with the red letters where he spoke, all of that's gone because all he did was live it. No, you got to say something. It's time for the Christians to step up. Amen. Speaking of saying something, and I'm going to move on. You all don't like me when I talk about this. But you know what? You know what? You can't be true to God and be politically uh, in one corner or in the other. I've often said I've, I, I've never supported it political candidate who gets my vote and gets my nod is the person who reflects what I think. Amen. You reflect what I think. If you, if you agree with me, I believe that life in the womb is precious. Amen. Now, if you don't believe that, there ain't no point in talking to me about anything else. That ain't going to happen. I believe that marriage is a union between a man and a woman. Amen. But preacher, you got to vote for someone. Do I? No, what they have to do is they have to get votes. That's what has to happen. And the way you control a thing 
is with your voting power. You don't come and tell me how it's going to be and what you're going to do and what you're not going to do and then tell me vote for you. No, 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 no. You're going to hear me and we'll, we'll discuss it. I'll see because I'm the customer. I don't need a vote to do this. You need one to be in office. So I'm the customer. Say amen. And, and you're the customer. That's what I tried to say to the, uh, the brothers uh, when uh, President Obama came out and endorsed same-sex marriage. I said, listen, we need to use our power to turn him from this. Tell him, if, you don't, if, you, if this is the position you're going to take, we're not going to support you. Every one of them shot back and, 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 and attacked me. And then after he was reelected, it said for the second time, we're going to go to the White House now and we're going to talk to him about it. I said, it's too late. He can't be reelected anymore. It's too late. Which is what they knew. It was, it's called a cop-out. It's called a cop-out. Amen. The other day, Ruth Bader Ginsburg said something that if we would have said it, those of us who are pro-life, had we said what she said, they would call us evil. They would call us wicked. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, pro-abortion is to her heart. She's trying to hang on. She's trying to hang on. Her health is bad. Trying to hang on. Um, probably had Hillary won, she would have retired, but she's trying to hang on. Um, scared that Trump had about to replace her. So she's trying to hang on. And uh, she said something the other day. She said that a woman, oh, I read that the statement was attributed to her that a woman seeking an abortion is not a mother. Now, if we would have said something like that, we would be called uncaring, wicked, no good, insensitive, and those comments would be true. Because even if she is an abortive intendant mother she's still a mother a mother who outlives her children is still a mother you young men you young men who recently married and when mother's day roll around if your wife uh, is expecting with your first child now don't go and buy a mother's day gift for your mother and forget her You'll learn the hard way that I'm telling you the truth. Because the moment she missed, she was a mother. And she's a mother with your child. Amen. And uh, there's no way um, a halfway decent person would make such a heinous comment. And yet these things are being said from... Of all places, the Supreme Court. God help us. God help us.